Okay, one year on YouTube, what was my experience and what did I learn? The video. Okay, hi, my name is Julia and I am not very good at doing introductions, but you are watching my channel and so I'm, I'm going to say hi and I'm going to introduce myself because um, I don't know if you already know me because I only have 20 subscribers that I'm very thankful for. Yeah, I, anyway, my, my subscribers are great. I mean, a lot of them I know personally because they're my friends, but those that I don't know Thank you very much, you're great. And the ones I do know, you are also great and I love you. Um, yeah, so. This is my video about being on YouTube for one year. And yes, I'm wearing elf ears. I think they're adorable. I think they're really cute. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm looking like a mixture out of a, a witch, a vampire, edgelord, fairy. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. That's not the topic, but what did I learn after being on YouTube for one year? So, well, first of all, I would definitely recommend starting a YouTube channel because it's a lot of fun and it definitely gets you out of your comfort zone. I think, I think doing YouTube definitely helped me develop as a person. I, I got new skills. I definitely improved my English because I don't know if you can tell or if you can't tell, but English is not my first language. My language, my, my real language is a mystery. But I'm going to tell you because you're nice and watching this video. It's German. But don't tell anyone. It's, it's very secret. <laughs> and it's not like all of my friends and family members who are probably watching this already know, but it's a secret. <laughs> no, it's not. A, oh God. Ah, anyway, an insect almost flew into my ear. That was weird. Okay. But yeah, first of all, better English. So if you're not a native speaker and you're starting to do YouTube videos and you do them in English, it's definitely going to improve your language skills, which is pretty great. Also, it it definitely made me more confident because, yeah, um, I would say you definitely got to be a little bit confident in yourself in order for you to film yourself, edit those videos, and you definitely wind up seeing your face an awful lot when editing. Um, <laughs> Unless you just do voiceovers and don't show your face, but that's not what I did. Um, yeah, and then you have to upload your stuff into the big, bad, not bad, in the, into the vastness of the internet. For everyone to see. Yeah, it's... I'm just gonna tell you now, but... Uploading videos, not filming them, but uploading them still gives me a little bit of anxiety because I don't know, I guess it's just that deep-seated fear of rejection that most human beings have because I think it's it's completely natural and my eyebrows itchy bah. But yeah, so it definitely helps you develop your confidence and also, um, sometimes, I mean, if, you, if you're not familiar with my videos, then you're not going to know, but sometimes I dress up as characters when I'm filming my videos because I often do Shakespeare monologues. I know that's pretty niche and that's probably one of the reasons that I don't have that many subscribers, but honestly, yeah, one, that's, that's very important. Don't do YouTube because you want to have a bunch of subscribers. Do it for yourself. Do it because you like it. Do it because it's fun. And not in order to get famous or impress other people. Because if you do it for other people, then it's 
probably not going to be that fun and I like doing videos because I like expressing myself in a creative way and yeah I like doing videos and if you like doing videos then you should go ahead and get a YouTube channel but what I was talking about so I, I sometimes dress up as characters and I do a lot of my filming outside I mean not always but I I go outside a lot when I do videos because uh, my room is a constant mess and if I'm doing something that's a bit more I don't know when I do Shakespeare for example I don't only do Shakespeare I sometimes write my own stuff but I I like to do Shakespeare videos and I don't know I, it wouldn't feel right to do them in my room it just it just wouldn't fit with the tone of the video so I go outside a lot and then I'm in costume and I have to walk around like that in public I mean there's definitely people out there who are going to see me dressed up like for example a creepy witch when I did Macbeth um, yeah It's gonna weird out some people. Some people are going to be fine with it and uh, when I was walking around like dressed up as a witch when I was doing Macbeth and honestly doing that Macbeth short film that I did that you probably never heard of because you probably don't know me but uh, when that, doing that movie uh, film thing that was actually the reason I started doing YouTube because I really love Macbeth. I think it's a great play and I wanted to film a couple of scenes from it and this video is all over the place. <laughs> um, yeah, but I wanted to film a couple of scenes from Macbeth and I also wanted to share it with the world because I put a lot of effort into it and I'm still really happy with the way it turned out. Of course, um, ever since I did that video it's been almost a year since I did that one and of course my acting developed it got better and that's that's another thing why doing YouTube is great because it really helped me develop my skills as an actress and I love acting so but anyway going back uh, walking around in public dressed up as a weird witch scary witch. I mean those those costumes were definitely pretty much out there uh, also back then uh, which made the whole situation even more weird. I didn't have a very tall tripod so I had to carry around a ladder and then I would put the tripod on top of the ladder and film myself like that because as I said, the tripod was too short and so I was walking around the woods dressed up as a witch or as a guy because when I when I did Macbeth I obviously dressed up as a dude with a beard. So I was walking around in costume with a ladder and um, one big bag. Anyway, yeah, people saw me. <laughs> and I was always like, well, they're gonna stare at me or just just ignore it, just be polite and say hi. <laughs> it was definitely an interesting experience and it definitely helped with my confidence because when when you do that sort of thing you just can't afford to give a shit. It's the truth, <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I was I was talking about acting, and I I mean I'm doing Shakespeare monologues and I write some of my own pieces. Honestly, I would love to do some modern plays as well, but that's just probably not going to happen with the copyright. And yeah, so I'm just going to write my own stuff, which is great because it really helps me to be more creative. That's not what I wanted to say, but yeah, it's just, it's the essence of what I wanted to say. It develops my creativity and 
yeah, that's that's nice. And I come up with new ideas and I challenge myself to come up with new ideas. And then I have to, because I, I love fantasy, then I have to find a way to, they have to find a way to realize those ideas with the limited budget and equipment that I have and I have to I mean I don't have to but I'm filming my videos all by myself and I'm doing everything and obviously I'd love to do videos with other actors but I'm doing my videos in English and I live in Germany I'm not very likely to f also I'm living in a small town <laughs> it's just uh, it's just adding to it but yeah First of all, I would have to find someone who's interested in acting. Then I would have to find someone who's going to do it in English and who has, I don't know, who is pretty much fluent in English. And then they'd have to have time and then they'd have to do it for free because obviously I can't afford to pay them. But yeah, I'd love to act with other actors. But as of now, it's probably not going to happen so I just either have to do monologues or I have to play all the roles and I mean that that's also nice it's it's definitely challenging me but yeah doing those videos it definitely helped me be more uh, more comfortable with the camera and yeah it, it really helped me develop my skills I do more acting than I did before and I also read more plays, I read more stuff in general, so yeah, that's... Honestly, I, I have to say that my personal life benefited a lot from doing YouTube and started doing YouTube, even though there's not a bunch of people watching me, but as I said, that's, that's not what's important. Yeah, ah, uh, God. And maybe one day, maybe one day, a bunch of people are going to watch me. I mean, I'm not placing that much trust into that. I'm not placing that much hope into that, but yeah, I just thought I heard something back there, but I'm sitting in the woods, there's wildlife. Uh, if you see a squirrel in the background, you're welcome. <laughs> I mean, uh, because I, I think squirrels are really cute and maybe you do too. And then there's, there's footage of wildlife. Yeah, anyway. Back to the topic at hand. I'm not placing that much hope into, you know, going viral or something like that because I I do some rather niche stuff because most people probably don't log onto YouTube or, or go on the YouTube page in order to watch Shakespeare monologues or or some weird poems that I wrote and then enacted. Um, I mean, maybe one day they will. <laughs> maybe people wind up liking me. I mean, if if you like what I do, if if you want to go check out my videos, then I'd really appreciate that. Um, I mean, I don't know why you would want to support me because I'm just some stranger on the internet. But I would really, I I would love that. I would, I would, I would really like that. Um, so if you want to make me happy, go ahead and subscribe to me and watch all of my videos. <laughs> but yeah, God, that's another thing. It feels so weird to ask people to subscribe to you or to like your videos. And now we're going to move over to another topic. And that is... Ah, yeah, right. That is dislikes and people not liking your video because recently I had my first dislike and of course when I first saw it I was like oh god someone disliked my video I mean I wasn't like how dare they I was just like oh god my heart my heart is going to explode um, <laughs> but yeah you you just have to rationalize that sort of stuff and I mean as I said I, I get kind of anxious when I just upload a video um, <laughs> But see, that's that's also great. I, I get to work on that by putting my stuff out there regardless of what people may think because that's what you have to do. You, you just can't care all that much about what people think. And then I really thought about getting a dislike. And the thing is, everyone, 
everyone who puts their creativity and their work out on the internet is going to get dislikes. Everyone. I mean, there's, there's even dislikes on music videos from Queen and how do people dislike Queen, okay? Because, let's face it, Queen music is the closest thing to perfection or one of the closest uh, one of the closest things to perfection that exists on this earth but there's still people who don't like it so if that sort of stuff gets dislikes why wouldn't I get dislikes? See what I'm getting at? And the thing is you really have to rationalize it and with rationalizing it you just I mean, I'm... Oh God, I, I hate saying that because uh, I really don't like the way it sounds, but uh, there's an insect in my face. That's not what I was trying to tell you. But yeah, I'm a bit of a sensitive person. I mean, I, I really hate putting that out there because I don't want people to know. I want, I want people to think that I'm tough and powerful and strong. <laughs> Uh, they probably just wind up thinking that I'm some sort of a jerk, but yeah. Um, if you're if you're kind of sensitive to that sort of stuff, and honestly, there's probably more people who are sensitive than you know because you just just can't show people that you're sensitive because yeah. Oh, my nose is itchy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Because most people just don't tell other people, because they don't want them to know. So I bet there's a bunch of sensitive little sissies like me out there. And yeah, but... So you... When you get dislikes, or even hate comments, I haven't gotten any hate comments yet, but... It's probably just a matter of time, and... Also you have to see getting your first dislike as a rite of passage, because everyone on the whole effing planet gets dislikes. And if you don't get dislikes, then there's probably no people watching you at all. And yeah, you have to decide which one you want. And I definitely want more people watching me. So I just gotta suck it up and accept that I'm getting dislikes. Because also you, you have to see it that way. And uh, you, one thing, one thing really quick. You mustn't get caught up in that whole mindset of well why why did they dislike my video you you just can't afford to ask yourself questions about that because you'll never know the answer anyway i mean this video might get dislikes so why am i getting dislikes maybe it's because my speech is all over the place i just i'm very easily distracted maybe people don't like my face maybe people don't like my hair maybe people don't like that i'm sitting outside maybe the people don't like the quality of the video maybe 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 they just had a terrible day <laughs> you just don't know and you you never will so it's just pointless to ask yourself why and yeah just don't do it and um, then you have to see the positives because your video created in an, uh, your video created an emotional reaction in somebody's brain and they had this emotional reaction to your video so they just so they decided to give it a dislike they made the conscious decision to dislike your video and that means that you probably did something right because you you reached someone okay you reached someone you made someone care I mean it's probably not the reaction you had hoped for but you made them care and honestly that's that's probably because there's trolls because yeah you just trolls just want to piss people off and I'm not saying that the person who disliked my video was a troll they might have had a very legitimate reason to do so, but no, no, I'm just, that's, that's just a different topic because there's trolls and they want to create a, they want to react people to what they're saying and of course they're not going to get positive attention, but to some people uh, negative attention is better than no attention at all and you, you kind of have to adopt that mindset because 
I mean, oh god. Ah, no. This this is turning into a mess. No, you don't 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 adopt that mindset. You don't don't turn into an attention hole. <laughs> okay. That's that's what I'm saying. Someone who posts videos of themselves on the internet. Um so I'm not the right person to speak about attention whoring to you. My sleeves are terrible. Because this video dislike if you hated that whole sleeve thing going on might be distracting. Um, but yeah. But the thing is, uh, considering that you made someone care about what you said, it's, it's kind of making you feel a little bit powerful. A little bit. You shouldn't get on power trips because of that. I don't know what I'm saying. That I don't know why I say a lot of the things that I'm saying. But I said it and yeah, so you you kind of had power over someone because oh god this sounds terrible um yeah but you you did because you created an emotional reaction in them so that's interesting and also on the topic of interaction with your videos i would love to have a lot more interaction in my videos i would have to <laughs> i would love to have a lot more comments and also likes but i mean if it's just dislikes the algorithm doesn't care and that's one more thing the algorithm doesn't care and you just have to remember that everyone you watch on YouTube they are getting dislikes and they're much bigger than you and they god it's windy and they probably make better videos than you and they get dislikes so what's stopping you from getting dislikes see what I'm getting at yeah anyway comments I would love to get way more comments but there's this thing because um, I'm really on the fence about comments because obviously I want people to interact with, with ah god obviously I want people to interact with my videos but I, I currently don't have all comments enabled but I have selected the the option that to hold potentially inappropriate comments i think that's the wording on that one review potentially inappropriate comments and i don't know uh the thing is i really hate censoring people and i don't know does that qualify for censoring people because it's really vague because it says potentially inappropriate comments but what what qualifies for that so maybe I'm just going back to enabling all comments I mean I, I don't want ah, I don't want people to say offensive stuff but I mean it's, it's the internet people are going to be offensive so yeah I guess I'm just going to go back to enabling all comments because uh, interaction is good and yeah, in interact with my videos. Even if you have nothing to say, then just write tomato or something like that into the comments. And I'm gonna give it a like. Because I don't have any hobbies, obviously, or else I wouldn't be doing YouTube. Okay. So, yeah. I, I would definitely want more interaction with my videos. And also, constructive criticism is always helpful. I mean, I I don't want people to write in the comments. I mean, if they if they feel like it, then they should go for it. I mean, it's not nice, but if someone write, wants to write, you're a dumb, ugly bitch in my comments, then maybe I should just let them because it's their opinion. Um, <laughs> oh, I mean, it's not gonna be nice, and I wouldn't love it, but yeah. No, no, please don't do that. Um, but if you're gonna do it, you probably don't care about what I'm saying because I'm just a big ugly bitch. What? Huh? Big? I'm not big. I'm just really short. Ah. It's very windy again. But yeah, I would love to get more comments and yeah, con right, I was talking about constructive criticism. Right. So. Um, it's it's a difference, it's a huge difference between hate comments and constructive criticism and so I'd want a lot of constructive criticism because then I can make better videos and that will be beneficial for my channel 
I mean, of course it's up to me whether I'm going to take the criticism and apply it or whether I'm going to leave it because, yeah, I, as I said, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing YouTube for other people, I'm doing it for me and if I, the people are just, people have different opinions on things and if someone doesn't like something but I like it then of course I'm going to keep it the way that I like it because they are my videos and I want that they're primarily for me because they are my creative expression and yeah but yeah a comment I would love to read comments because one time on my witch poem that I wrote I had such a sweet comment and oh god it just made me feel happy all day and I'm not gonna lie see so that's that's the good thing about being sensitive because when you read something positive it's going to affect you I mean when you read something negative it's going to affect you too but yeah you just you just have to rationalize those sorts of things okay so I'm going to stop right here because I've been talking for ages and yeah, I'm definitely going to continue doing YouTube and maybe this video was helpful for you. If I could help you then you're welcome and maybe consider giving it a like or, or tell me that I helped you. Um, if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, have a nice day as always and the sun is shining and it's windy and we're outside and oh yeah, right, I'm just going to add that. It, you can click off the video if you don't care what I'm saying. My camera cut me off. It wanted me to stop talking. I'm not going to stop talking. Okay, yeah, anyway. It's totally unrelated. But if you're like me, you love Halloween. No, this is not sponsored. Don't kid yourself. I have 20 subscribers, okay? This is, this is not sponsored. But sitting here outside when it's windy and it's, it's kind of getting a bit autumny. That's not a real, that's not a real word, I think, but it's, it's now autumny. It's, it's autumny outside, even though it's still August, but yeah, it's just made me think of Halloween and so, so does my outfit. I'm looking forward to Halloween. I, I can't wait. But the, the thing is, I I always get really excited for Halloween and then my, my own excitement and my expectations wind up ruining Halloween for me because I have those giant expectations. So, oh yeah, it's going to be the best Halloween ever and then it's just going to wind up being meh. Or, uh, or my excitement dies down just... I mean, I'm, then I'm excited. I thought I heard people. Yeah, because then I'm excited for, let's say, from the end of August throughout the whole of September until the beginning of October and then in the middle of October it just dies down and I'm like, where, where did my excitement for Halloween go? Yeah. But I just hope that this year is going to be great and I love Halloween. Okay. Uh, that was completely unnecessary. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in the video, but have a nice day. It's going to be autumn soon. Oh yeah, if you want to watch me bitch about summer weather and how much I love autumn, then you might want to check out this video. I just hope that I remember putting the link up there. But yeah, I love autumn. It's going to be autumn soon and I'm excited. Bye bye.